this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to look how to change someone's hair color and we're going to make this a little bit more challenging because we're going to look at one where they already have highlights and uh, we will choose to actually accentuate the highlights and change the hair color. So let's have a look here. At this photo here what we want to do here is basically change the, the main, the, the brown hair color here, the brunette, into a different color and the blonde highlights we're going to actually accentuate those, make them stand out a little bit more. So uh, the way that we can do this is primarily with the use of the hue and saturation adjustment layer. So we're going to go into our adjustment layers, hue and saturation. We're going to set to colorize, the mode to colorize. And we are going to set the saturation to somewhere like 50%, something that is obvious for now, right? So set the hue to 0%, to 0 or whatever color you'd like it to be, but just set it to 0 for now. We have it set. So now what we need to do basically we have we can go back in and change these colors but I just want to set something that is obvious so you can see when you've made the selection now we want to make a selection of just the brunette part and not the blonde part and the way we do this is we can unview the saturation layer here go back to our background layer go to select and color range and in select and color range uh, what we can do here is uh, select uh, a part of the brunette's uh, hair color. So for example here, and we can see the selection is being made right here. So we have, uh, we are doing this with our here viewing the image and also the preview being grayscale, which gives us the white as being the selection. Everything that's black is not being selected. So um, as you can see, there are many different gradations, different colors in this uh the brunette, right, um, in, the, in the color of her hair. So what we can do is just multiply click with this here, with the eyedropper, with the plus. So we're going to be adding to our, uh, a range of colors that we're selecting. Now just be sure you can select in the image or in the preview of the image. Be sure to try not to select any of the blonde bits. So you make sure that the blonde parts here uh, aren't selected, so they'll remain black, right? If you, the image you're working in is just a complete, you know, if it's just a hair, there isn't any other different colors in the hair, then you just have to pay attention to, to just selecting the hair, right? Now we can play around with the fuzziness to help us out. We obviously do not want to be selecting if we're viewing other things here. For example, the tiles here means that we're going to be selecting them. We do not want to select those things. So we need to adjust the fuzziness so that we're not viewing these things. Obviously, we don't want to adjust it you know, to zero because then it becomes really hard to select those exact colors. We can always make some modifications, but overall we want to make uh, our life as simple as possible by just trying to select just the hair. So um, I think this is a pretty good selection here. We can we can um, make some uh, modifications to our selection with the minus here, just to remove some part here that is being selected, right? So we're just going to, with the minus, just select some bits here that are not supposed to be selected and then go back in here and select a little bit more so that we can more clearly see just the selections of the hair. This is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right. OK, now we've made the selection to our hair. And trust me, this is a lot easier than trying to brush in the hair color, right? So we're going to go in here with our hue and saturation layer, uh, invert that selection. So we're going to go into select inverse. And then we're going to fill that in with black, which is alt and backspace, since black is my foreground color. I'll deselect. And now you can see, and you'll see why I actually made the saturation so high, is now we can see what's being affected and what's not being affected. So for example, this area here is not being affected at all. Now you might like this, you might not like it. So what, what you can do first is now actually select the color that you want for the hair, how it's, how it's going to look and so forth. So personally, I'd set the saturation a little bit lower. And we can play around with the hue. We can make it all, you know, like a green. We can make it slightly blonde. And go for a blue. I'm gonna go in for a purple. So we're going in with a purple hair color here. And I'm just gonna adjust the saturation slightly. So there we are. I like that saturation there. And I'll click OK. Now if you want to change some parts, for example, if you want more of these bits here to be colored in purple, what you can do is go into your brush, make the opacity low, like 8% or less. And now with black, you want to just gradate in uh, some of that uh, purple in there. And the reason that uh, you do it in, in a low percentage is so that you can you can, you can can scale it in, you can bring in some of that purple without it just being bang, a lot of purple. Because it might actually just stand out and be, you know, 
overwhelmingly purple and it won't make much sense. So you, you want to just gradate in some of that purple in there, in the hair. And um, I think that looks pretty good. So we can see the before and we can see the after. And I think the purple actually looks pretty good as it is. Now what we can do, uh, like I said, this is a two-step process, is we're going to select the, the highlight. And actually, uh, we can change the color of the highlight, obviously. I just want to accentuate it a little bit more. So what we can do is go back in here to our, our background layer, unview the saturation, right? The hue and saturation. So we're seeing the original image. Now we're going to um, go into select and color range again. And now we're going to select the, do the same thing, but just select just the blonde bits. So we're going to play around with fuzziness and uh, we're going to be adding um, to our selection. Okay, I think that looks okay. So we're going to go ahead and click OK on this. Now we're going to add another hue and saturation layer. We're going to uh, just this do the same thing, colorize. We're going to add the saturation and make something obvious, like this orange, for example, here. Okay, and now you can see that we've made that selection that we're adding uh, a little bit of this orange to this image here. And now what we can do is just remove some of this uh, with 100% opacity. With uh, black, we can just remove some of that. Um, orangeness from the image here. You can see that there are some bits that were selected, so we don't want any of that. So there we are. And now we can go back in here and change the color to what we actually want, which is, I'm going to change the saturation here to high, just so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to select sort of that blonde right there and scale it back so that we're adding a little bit of the highlight here, but not too much. Okay. So the last step here is to actually then view all our layers and change the modes from normal to color. It's the, the one before last year in the blend modes. And the color will actually blend in the color a lot more naturally. So you can see that now it actually, uh, let me just change that back here so you can see the difference. That was the before. And if you pay attention to areas like here, it just blends in a lot more naturally with the color because it's all it's bringing in is just the color, right? Now, again, if you wanted to make any changes, you can go back in with a low opacity and with whites, and you can add in, for example, some uh, blondness to this part here, which I think I missed a bit of, and uh, here as well, just slight strands here. And for example, here we can choose if we want to have an accentuated bit of it or not. So I'm going to actually remove this because I think this is a little bit uh, not necessary there. And uh, there we are. So we have the before and we have the after and that is a pretty cool color change. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.